What's up, everyone? Now, this is a destroyer, do do nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Ukulele. Last time, we explored a lot more of. I always keep forgetting this name Tribal Stack Tropics. We managed to get a couple more pages, um, learned a number of different moves from Trouser, and met, well, a polygonal dinosaur, as well as turn into a flower. Lots of different things we managed to do last time. In this episode, uh, I like to say that we are pretty close to being done with what we can do here. There are still a couple more things that I'm sure we can do. Uh, but, before we do that, we noticed this person tried talking to us before, mentioning something about tonics. So before we head back to Hyvory Towers, let's talk to her. Oh. Hey kids, what can I get ya? Uh, um, uh, one please. Uh, one tonic? Uh, you gotta present your company approved ID card first, kid. Hyvory Towers employees only. Uh, yes, um, about that. My bat friend here ate mine. Tell you what, I'll let you off just this once. We're all friendly colleagues, after all. Uh, yes, friendly colleagues. The name's Vendy. I assume you're familiar with my game-modifying tonics. Remember, each tonic you equip makes a big change to your rules of work. You need to complete a challenge to unlock each one, and no messing around. Only one tonic equipped at a time. Come see me when you want to swap them out. Okay, so apparently we get... Interesting. So, depending on how many different criterias we get, we can get any number of different things to change the game. <laughs> Please tell me that's actually Mr. Pants. Um, finish the story, collect 15 Ghost Riders, uh, gain one Butterfly Hell Slot, which isn't really all that bad there. Uh, let's see, beat Rex Show's high score on three arcade machines, collect 300 quills, find two health or power extenders, to be ten inept enemies. Yuka's invisibility move lasts longer. Apparently Yuka can turn invisible. Finish the story. Which I assume just makes everyone's voice higher. Go retro! Great choice! That's a useful tonic. Okay, so... Uh, oh, okay, so it does show it there at the bottom. Okay, so that did give me an extra piece of health. Uh, so what does the retro do, then, in that case? Um... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God, everything is just a CRTV! Oh, God! It's all... Oh, God! Kill it with fire! Is this how games used to look? Oh jeez, everything is so lacking detail. I could live with Spyro being like this, but oh god. Oh, much better. Nice bloom and lighting effects. Oh jeez. Okay. So now that we have that, what's in here? Ooh, secret area. Duke's temple. Okay, I guess maybe we won't quite head back to Hybrid Towers yet. Good day, strapping adventurers. Splendid day for a hunt, what not? Whoa! Aren't you supposed to 
talk simple, run straight at us? Like those Neanderthals in Highbury Towers? Absolutely not. I'll have you know I'm the most aristocratic character in the game. Not likely. There's a guy with a huge ice palace in the next world. He must be loaded. Might you assist a gentleman with a modest lightning quan lighting quandary? This antique temple features a divine shooting gallery, but some louts blocked my windows up top. Might you fine fellows climb my rooftop and unblock the windows? That seems like a task suitable of your um, stature. We'll take a look. This guy better hand over the pagey or I'm going to coat these windows in something far worse. Okay, so... Basically, we need to ground pound these? I guess. I'm assuming he said, he said something about windows, but I'm assuming... The term ground pound... That I basically need to like bring some exterior lighting. Ah, okay, it's these. Hello up there! Spiffing job letting in some light so I can set up my target challenge. If you could address the other three blocked windows, that would be splendid. Okay, that seems simple enough. It just... Yeah, they're all just right here. Capital work! Come inside and we'll arrange a sporting contest for a real prize. What? Oh? Alright, so I guess if I had decided to do that first, it would tell me, Hey, this is where you go in. All right, fair enough, let's go. I guess one more challenge before we head back to Hyvory Towers. Thanks for clearing the windows up top, whatnot. Whatever, we've done the dirty work, now hand over the pagey. What? Give you my posh paper, leaving me with just the local fauna? Should nature call? Not likely. Ew. Although I do like a sporting contest, I propose you take on my target challenge. I'll provide the targets based on my Neanderthal brethren. You shoot the blazes out of them all, and I'll surrender the pagey what what? What do you say? Fancy a shot at my target range, chaps? Sure. That sounds fun. Let's shoot. Jolly good. Stand on the spare target I laid down and don't forget your ammo. Down the common beasts and I'll award the pagey. Capital shooting, just a few more of the blighters to blast. Seems simple enough. Oh god, this constantly moves? Okay, that hardly seems fair. There we go. Top shooting for a couple of run-of-the-mill peasants. I feel like I've prepared you to take on the rest of the corporate minions in the game. Go collect your award. Very cool, we got another pagey for our troubles. Neat. 
Anything else you'd like to say? I'll point and laugh at the commoners outside. All right. I get the feeling we'll be back later, because it's weird that this has, like, its own specific name as Duke's Temple. Um, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime... I don't think there's really a whole lot... Oh, right! We can head up here now. Um... Okay, so let's do this real quick. I forget about these things. Um... There's another invisible platform. There he is! Alright. Damn it! Jerk. Okay, let's try this again. Thankfully, these things aren't timed. Really? Really? Really, that just happened. That... Uh. Alright. Alright. Just kind of use my stalling tactic. And there we go. With that, we got ourselves another pagey. Still have no idea how to get to those quills up there, but whatever. Um, I think we're just about done. Man, there's a ton of quills up there, but I'm not entirely sure how you get up to that point. Wow! Really? I guess if you fall from a great height, it's just instant death. Alright. Cool. I mean, on the bright side, it brought me to exactly where I wanted to be. So I wanted to try to see if I can get above this spot. Um... The problem is, I don't see a good way of actually getting up here. So, it's entirely possible that there is no way to get up here for now. Um... Yeah, I don't see a good way of getting up here. I can't get up there, especially since they keep bopping my head up here. Okay, so I guess I'll be back to that later then. In the meantime... Um, that is not the way back to the entrance. Oh well, whatever. I can just go back from here. Let's go ahead and head back to Hyvory Towers. Okay, so now that we're back... You're back! And alive! It seems that snake chap lost his bet. Yeah, we... Hold on, what bet? Those grand tomes can be dangerous places. But it's good you're back. I have something important to share. The grand tomes like this one here can be expanded using the power of the pages you have found. Choosing to expand will make the book worlds bigger and full of extra challenges to discover. That sounds cool. How does it work? Once you've found enough of us pages, it's up to you if you want to use them to expand a grand tome you've already opened, or search Hybrid Towers for a brand new one to unlock with us. Expand or explore? Yes, the choice is yours, and you can do this in any order. So long as you have collected enough pages on your adventure. How exactly do we use our pages to expand a grand tome, pagey? Easy! Just step on the switch in front of the grand tome, 
and press A. I'll tell you how many pages are required to expand the dome. To find the other grand tomes, look out for the helpful signposts of pages that place around Ivory Towers. Got it. I guess we'll carry on our adventure now and decide whether to expand or explore. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of the main thing, I guess. Is that we either use the pages to get to new places or to expand our current repertoire. Um, I'm guessing maybe we could glide with Lily at some point. And we need three pages to expand this world. To expand Travel Sack Tropics. Uh, but if we want to go to like the Ice World. Uh, can we get to this one? Hey out there, do you know you can press the left stick to enter aiming mode and look around? Oh wow, that would have been helpful on that other one. Thanks for the tip, Pagey. Wow, really? I can enter a first person mode? Uh, over the camera. Uh, oh. Okay. So, P, or wait. Um, it sucks that I can't actually, you know, move. Okay. Um, I'll see if I can actually do the right thing, so. P. A. G. I. E. I have no idea what capital B was saying right there. Probably taunting me like Rintilda usually would. But hey, we got it. Whoa! You guys are doing great! We'll have the one book returned and filled in no time! Remember, you can choose yes, 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 expand worlds or go and find new ones. So how much how many PGs would it be to unlock uh this one? Oh! Hi there! Okay, so here's where I would equip the tonic here. Good to know. Um. Okay, so if I go up this way. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, that just opens the door. Neat. Quick, quack, the call is coming through. <laughs> Greetings, sirs. I wasn't expecting your call. Allow me to update you on our progress. First, I can confirm that a small portion of our workforce has been unfairly terminated. But please consider the upturn in all the wages we've saved. I promise, there's no reason to be concerned, Mr. Chairman of the Board. I obtained the one book on schedule. And escaped pages will soon be in our grasp. I assure you, gentlemen, the freakish duo have no idea what we're really up to. Once the book is full of pages, we'll be able to control them and the entire world. Blast! The 
still gets worse by the quarter minute! I'm not looking forward to them turning up in future games. Dr. Quack! It's time to radicalize our outlook. We need to slow down the intruder's progress. Any ideas? Well, sir, I do have these really nasty quiz questions. Evil quiz? Perfect. That's why you get paid slightly above minimum wage, Quack. Get to it! Oh boy, another Gruntilda quiz, it looks like. Oh, jeez, really? I have to do this now? Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Quack. Look, Laylee, this... Look, Laylee, this must be Capital B's big hench manager. If big was the requirement, this guy doesn't seem to fit the bill. I reckon he'd let us pass if we lobbed him a few breadcrumbs. Silence! I see you've been trespassing illegally inside one of my scientific bookworms. And now you'll pay the penalty with the terrifying Quackfire Quiz! The what? You'll need to provide 10 correct answers in order to survive my awful question assault. Answer a question correctly, and I'll allow you to progress forward. But get one wrong, and you'll lose a life. Lose all three lives, and it's back to the start. <laughs> They clearly blew the budget on the proper boss battles. Now, step forward and prepare for a trivia trouncing. Oh, geez. I, I actually do have to do this now. Great. Those ghastly ghost riders. Which did you capture first in Tribal Stack Tropics? Uh... Green? No. Okay. Wow, that is super specific. The picture, where was it taken? Uh, that's the arcade. Fiddlesticks! How did you get that one? Double curses! A super quick correct answer! That's a two-pointer! Awesome! I get to skip one if I answer it fast enough! The Knights of Habilot! Which one rides a pathetic horse? Oh, shoot. What? All the answers are on the internet, by the way. I mean, I imagine they would be. Uh, picture. Okay. Yeah, the temple. That was the toughest question! Cool. The Disappointment Monument Boss, Rampo. What does he eat? Vendi? Or no, not Vendi. Door to door. S door to door salesman? All right. Ridiculous Cloud Nimble, where can she be found? Yeah, by the riverbed. You're clearly cheating now. Awesome, I guess if it's, if it's past five seconds. Hapless scientist Dr. Puzz, which brand of token does she seek? Molecule. Even though she specifically said play coin. Flaming foul, that war. <laughs> They're clearly too easy. All right, one more. Ivory Tower's hub, how many pages have you illegally stolen from it? Uh, only two. Go 
Oh, why did I make these multiple choice? Hey, we did it. Blast! The presentation slides for this quiz clearly pitched it as impossible. That defeat's definitely going to come up in my next performance review. No matter. I'll make sure the next quiz is so tough that even a player's guide won't help you. Until next time, dimwits! <laughs> Okay, so now that we're in a brand new area. Uh, ooh, crushers. Hey. Butterfly. Uh, let's see. What all is through here? Uh, something I can get to shoot things. Um. Not entirely sure what. Uh, security bots. Looks like. Where are these letters? Okay. There's Rextro. Huh. Well, I guess if we wanted to just play any of his arcade games that we've unlocked. Did you know your stupidity has increased 80% world on world? I love stats. Freaking eyes? Darn it. Okay. So, I mean, we can... I, mean, I kind of want to get to a new world because I want to try to get to where uh, Trouser could give me a new ability. Oh, hey, speaking of which. Yeah, my good pals, back for more of my fantastic offers. No, you're blocking the route to the next world. Well, I reckon you'll be needing one of my top shelf moves to get beyond this cavernous gap. And for helping me expand my sales to Tribal Stack Tropics, it's free of charge. Well, if it's going to be for nothing, this next move will allow our purple friend here to glide through the sky with a hold of B. Simply leap into the air with B, then press and hold B a second time to glide. That sounds useful. I hope you're up to the task, Lily. I had a big breakfast. No sweat! These wings are stronger than they look. Super! Come and find me in the archive later. I have something off the books to offer you. Archive. Uh, well, at the very least... Okay, yeah, that is exactly the type of thing I was hoping I would find. Darn it, I wanted to eat those. Well, at the very least... Being able to glide would be super helpful. because I figured that there would be some way to glide. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can only glide for so long, though. This. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't break that. All right, well, that doesn't seem to be anything I can particularly do at the moment. Uh, however, that is something that I absolutely wanted. I wanted the ability to glide. 
And I figured at least getting to the next world would give me some sort of power-up that would be helpful. I was kind of hoping for a glide at some point, and I got it a lot sooner than I was expecting. So, anyway, with everything taken care of, now is about as good as time as any to call it a day. Meet me in the portal. I'm waiting to land some key beats right on your face. So, next time on Let's Play Ukulele! We are just going to head back to Tribal Stack Tropics. Uh, we need three pages to expand the world. And rather than trying to get to the next world, since I have the ability to glide now, we're gonna do our best to see what more we can get done here. Apparently, it just becomes an even bigger book. So, let's go ahead and hop right on in. And we'll see what exactly we've unlocked next time. You expanded the world. Come and find me and my friends. So, that way has now opened up to us. That's being guarded by Shovel Knight, of all things. We've got floating islands that we can traverse through now. And a much bigger temple, complete with floating islands. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. And now this place has someplace more... With a wall. Also a giant cloud. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of things that are opened up to us now. But we'll start exploring that next time. So until then, everyone, take care.